So this is important because we've released a lot of videos on Islam. I've been put on CARES watch list. We've had to beef up security. People know this. Muslims inherently aren't very peaceful. Now, the biggest Islamic YouTube channel that I know of is Talk Islam. This is a huge YouTube channel. This man has gone after me specifically, claiming that I'm wrong, rebutting uh, some of the claims that I've made, and uh, while he's refused, of course, to come on the program. And he often, he's the guy who's held out as the moderate Muslim. He's, he's, he's reforming Islam. He, he did the, nothing to do with my prophet, mm -hmm. saying none of these things have to do with my prophet, though veiled, never really condemnation of terrorism. So, I had my wonderful, you know, I do research, but I also have some wonderful people. I can't take credit for it. R is his code name. Thank you, R, very much for helping me with this. Since Talk Islam has gone after me and refused to come on the program, we decided to do some research. Moderate Islam, what does that mean exactly? Here's what we found out. So, Talk Islam is a YouTube channel. Their biggest link, they don't operate on their own. I knew that. And it seems that their greatest partnership is with an organization called the IERA. IRA is what we'll use from from now on. Ira, uh, they've worked this, the Talk Islam guy, they've claimed credit for this guy over at, uh, at Talk Islam. Uh, his name is Kamal Saleh, he does spoken words. So they've talked about him, they've taken credit for him, and he has had members of the IRA on his network. Members you can see right here if you're listening to wrestling videos where they're very friendly, they're very chummy. They've even hosted each other on each other's websites, and they've spoken on the same podiums doing events together. There has been a lot of cross-promotion between Talk Islam and IRA, the IERA network. There you go. You can see them right there on their website. I believe that IRA is what sustains the Talk Islam channel. Now it matters. What does IRA believe? Uh, well, let's start. Let's go in, in order of increasing disturbingness, okay? Uh, how does IRA line up? Where do they line up on wife beating, these moderate Muslims who work with Talk Islam? Well, guess what? One of their founding members... Abarudim Green said it's okay for men to beat their wives. Nothing to do with their profit? Well, the organization that they work with says, ah, to do with my, yeah, it's cool to beat your wives. So that's we're going, we're going in ascending order here. Uh, they also support the killing of adulterers. Adulter, I guess more so adulteresses. Uh, they're big on that. This is era. They've supported the death of adulterers, despite the fact that one of the founding members um, was caught in an Ashley. Madison hack that guy Zortzi who you just saw in the previous video who was on with talk Islam He actually it wasn't just his name there. He had a credit card So they advocate death for adulterers wife beating even though they were directly involved with the mad uh, Ashley Madison hack where do they line up on we've talked about this Muhammad raping his nine-year-old wife Aisha married when she was six raped her when she was nine that would seem relatively extreme again We're going in order here. We're building a case where does era and talk Islam where do they line up on? Raping your nine-year-old wife. Well, they support it if it meets these conditions. We have a video. This is our law. It's nothing to do with age. Now listen to the principles, if we're principled. Number one, is she physically fit? Number two, is she emotionally ready? Number three, is she mentally ready? Number four, is it socially acceptable? Number five, all of these different kind of principles that we apply. And it happened that there's an outlier from the statistics that a nine-year-old was physically fit, was mentally ready, was uh, even given away by her own father and her tribe. So they support the raping of a nine-year-old. This is not extreme. Okay, these are the moderate Muslims out there. These are the ones with the biggest Talk Islam YouTube channel in existence. These are the best that they have to offer. These are the HuffPo, the Salon. The slate Muslims. Uh, let's get to something else. Okay, you would think, right? They, of course, they hate terrorism. Of course, they would condemn terrorism. Hashtag not all Muslims. Well, at these events where they speak, these summits, uh, there have been representatives of Ir. Let me make sure I get this this gentleman's name right. Hussein Yi. Hussein Yi, over there, who appeared alongside Talk Islam at one of these summits. Uh, where do they line up on 9/11? Which, of course, all moderate Muslims would condemn. Of course, Muslims shouldn't be blamed for 9/11. Of course. Of course, roll clip. But the world is very unjust. Who is unjust? We? No. The Twin Tower is unjust? No. What is unjust is what is happening in Iraq. It's very unjust. <laughs> what is happening in Palestine is very unjust. Okay, first off, that's like... <laughs> so, that is, don't worry about the Twin Tower. Don't worry about the Twin no, Towers. We have nothing to do with Muslims it. Muslims have nothing to do with it. What's unjust is everything else going on. First off, that's a character. What's unjust is that, that pubic little goatee <laughs> on. <laughs> he looks like that character in Saving Silverman. It looks like a total, like, we would do in cultural yeah, appropriation. Somewhere Batman is looking for him. It's a parody. So, again, 
pity party as opposed to saying, hey, we want to distance ourselves from Islam. This has nothing to do with my prophet. No. That's not what they did. Well, who do they think may have caused 9-11? These people, again, era, talk Islam, these people who appear at the same conferences, interview each other, support each other, cross-promote each other. What do they want you to think really occurred with 9-11? Roll clip. I know sometimes we feel, you know who is very happy when the Twin Tower uh, is, is been attacked? Who? A group of Jews is so oh. happy. In America, yes. they were having party when they heard that the Twin Tower is, is been burned. They have a celebration, they have a party okay. going on. What's so funny is this is with Islam, it's just like Saul Alinsky 101. They're using yes. the liberal tactics of accusing Jews of doing what clearly happened across the Islamic world. So 9-11, don't worry about the Twin Towers. It's not unjust, not like Palestine, not like Iraq. And it was the Jews who were celebrating. Muslims had nothing to do with it. I'm just saying the Jews were celebrating. So here's something else. Kamal, this is not era, but Kamal Salaf Talk Islam also appeared at the 2016 At The Peak Muslim Conference, which hosted speakers. Again, this is a guy who's pushing for... Moderate Islam. So you shouldn't be. Th these are the people with whom he's associating. Do I, am I saying that it's one or the. No, no. But we're building a case here. Uh, at this exact same summit, Salah appeared alongside Dr. Muhammad Salah. And there are two believe, cases. If a person entered Islam willingly or was born in Islam and is fully aware of the Aqeedah, then he accepted Islam. There is a general consensus between the scholars that Haddur Ridda or the punishment for Ridda is execution. And by the way, this is not something unprecedented. Even today, in today's world, uh, secular states have a similar punishment, more or less, in cases of somebody whom well, they think that like is a that. threat to the society. I'm going to go with less. Kill people who leave Muslims. So again, this is, let's, let's, let's recap this here right away. Talk Islam works with IRA. IERA. They work together. They both claim credit for each other. They both host each other. And they both put on, I'm assuming, funding these summits with all of these Muslim speakers where either directly expressed by the people in IRA or Talk Islam or people that they have hosted have condoned wife beating, have condoned killing adulterers, have condoned Muhammad raping his nine-year-old wife, have said that 9-11 was not done by Muslims and that the Jews were the ones celebrating. Direct members of IRA have said, get these Jews out of here, stench. They're clearly very anti-Semitic. And at these events, they did advocate for killing of anyone who leaves Islam. Nothing to do with my prophet. When you add this all up, is it all that surprising that Talk Islam slash IRA has had many of their members join ISIS? Five, to be exact, if we put a number on it. Five members of the organization have joined ISIS. So, talk Islam. Nothing to do with my prophet. We always, this is a challenge issue to you, sir. You're welcome to come on this program. We always wondered why he refused to flat out just condemn terrorist acts. You know what I mean? Just say, this is yeah. wrong, horrible. We need to reform Islam. It's always some generalized, nothing to do with my prophet. Uh, you know, spoken word, awful poetry. This is just, this is terrible. My prophet was handsome, but never really any direct condemnation of these ideas or policies. Why? Because they, ex they support it. They've gone out of their way. He supports it directly at Talk Islam. Ira supports it directly, or they directly host people who advocate for these policies. Here's the deal. Like with Clockboy, like with Care, you never have to dig that far with any Islamic organization to find direct ties to terrorism. Always. From, the, from the, 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 the restaurant that I used to go to in Ann Arbor, funneling money to Hamas, to CARE, to now IRA and Talk Islam, you cannot avoid it. At a certain point, you have to say this isn't a small minority when the people they're holding out as these moderate reformers are still preaching and working with the people who preach the same stuff. Do you have any idea how many degrees of separation you would have to get, you'd have to go through to connect us to Westboro Baptists, who still haven't done anything this bad? They're all, you, you couldn't do it. If you like this video and can't stand the evil that is Islam, subscribe. I know we'll get letters, right? But they're written in Arabic, so we can't read them. Or you can click one of these mystery boxes or videos playing next to me. Who knows what it'll be? Could be a suicide bomber. It's not a lot on YouTube. Depends.